I do not know the particular perspective that you might have for this. And this has to do about the coronavirus, the lockdown, and clerics, particularly the tele-evangelist, the pastors that have, over time, professed, advertised themselves as people who have the gift of healing. Now, this is not my own personal opinion. All I'm going to say, aside analysis, and I want you to also comment, deliberate on this. This is not a shot at your pastor as Christians, particularly in Africa and Nigeria, will go at you when you talk about their pastor, but not about God or Jesus Christ. Muslims will attack you when you go after Muhammad or you say their greater words or words that they perceive as not being um, progressive to them. If you say words that they feel is negative or blasphemous, they will go after you. That is the difference between the two faiths. One will kill you, the other will not kill you, but at least they will attack you with words. After lockdown, someone said, all the so-called men of God should be arrested. And the person decided to explain himself. He said, powerful pastors should be arrested. Prophets should be arrested. Evangelists should be arrested for theft. Why? He said, they have been stealing from people in the name of God. Demanding tithes. If you don't give tithes, I think you must have heard this jingle or this repeatedly. If you don't give tithe, your life will be tight. If you don't tithe, you will go to hell. Few, I think about two years ago, the issue of the tithe exploded all over the world. Not in Nigeria alone. It started down there. Questions were being raised. People want to know. What is really going on? Coupled with this coronavirus and this lockdown, a lot of things are coming out to light. People want to see if there are pastors that have been preaching empathy and the love of God and all of these things. They want to see if they are actually performing. I'm talking about help now, not even the spiritual aspect of it, of healing. Now, this is my own personal opinion, probably different from yours. I believe that God can do all things. God can heal. God can do all things. But there are certain things that God cannot do. God cannot sin. So if we say God can do all things, God cannot sin. And also, the Almighty God, in His infinite mercy, can decide to allow any person or any object or whatever it is, as long as it is in line with His words, if you hear most pastors repeat this in the scriptures, that God reverence his words even much more than his name. Meaning if he says this, it has to be so. He's not a God that goes back and begins to dangle between right, left, and center. So that being said, it is God that has the power to heal. He can only make use of certain people that we call pastors, prophets, evangelists, and the likes of them. That is not to say we don't have the spiritualists on one side, the Dibias, the Babalawu, that also tap the tap from the energy of certain groups that are called demons. The tap from certain groups that are called demons. But what I need you to know is that God created all things. Lucifer, Satan, devil, demons, angels, God created everything before people choose their path or spirits choose their path and they became what they are today. God created everything. Nothing ever was created by someone out there or somebody out there. Nothing. God created everything. Probably he didn't in one thing or the other and people come up with it. God created everything. So that being said, God has the power to heal everything. But over time, probably as a, as a result of exuberance or many charlatans, criminals, 
putting on, you know, mounting the podium, the stage, the altar, the pulpit, and all of this. They come to sell you certain goods. And they say, if you don't pay, you don't get healing. If you don't sow a seed, they go into the scriptures, which is right. They show you how people sowed seeds in certain, you know, different parts of the Bible. They sowed this seed, they got this. They sowed this seed, they got this. But over time, I've realized that people misunderstand the scripture because the Bible explains it. Uh, you know, you go to the scripture, you read a part, and it explains another part. The Bible is linked together without any form of confusion. That is what I have come to observe for a while. But people have been miseducated. People have listened to the preachings and teachings of false prophets and some prophets that are not false or pastors that are not false. But because that is all they've listened to over time and they keep repeating that right, a wrong doctrines. Doctrines are man-made anyway. They keep repeating the interpretations of what they believe is right in the scriptures. Whereas that is not the context. That is not the subject. That is not the entirety. That is not at all even what that Bible verse is saying. They read it literally and say, you see, you see. Anyway, this man said, pastors, clerics, all of them should be arrested. They demand for tithes. They demand for offerings. And the so-called seed, they have different kinds of seed. Seed of this, seed of faith, seed of just exactly how you see, it's just an example. How you see Agbero on the streets. They say they want to collect money for the floor, money for the masquerade, money for the king, money for the afternoon, money for the boys. This is exactly the way seeds are created. Seed for this, seed for that, seed for long life, seed for faith. Seed for your children, seed for virginity, seed for this. So this is exactly what this person is saying, that they collect seeds. That is not to say people don't sow seed and things happen in their life. Maybe it doesn't work for everybody. Anyway, they collect all of this from their congregants. And he said, this is daylight robbery indeed. The COVID-19 situation has exposed, according to him, all fake prophets. They have been claiming to have healing powers. And obviously, that is a lie. Well, maybe you have seen healings through healings. I'm not talking of fake, arrangy healings. Not the one people come on camera and say, I receive or thank you, Jesus. And they go home and die. Real healing. Not the one that they package it in on camera. Not the one that you do not even know the medical condition of the person. I say, I had diabetes A4 and now I am healed. I have HIV and I'm healed. And you don't see the person again. Healings exist. Healings exist. I'm telling you the truth. Healings exist. There is power on whatever side you want to look at it. Either the ugly or the beautiful one. If either the one that draws you into darkness or the one that draws you into light, there is power. It is even said that we, as humans, we are fused energy it's just that you cannot easily separate us there is something that holds us together as a person we we we, we are micro much even smaller than micro you no know, organisms together forces power there are a lot of mystery out there example of this is your dream you sleep you dream and someone that looks like you goes to places that you never understand flies down to places that you don't even know walks faster can jump can do marvelous i mean even disabled people that cannot walk but in their dreams they are walking doing things so a lot of things happen in the dream world that is another subject for another day so back to what this person is saying he said the covid 19 situation has exposed all fake prophets they have been claiming to have healing powers and obviously it is a lie if they really had healing powers they were supposed to be healing COVID-19 patients. At least, let there be a demonstration. We want to see real COVID-19 patients in the, in the hospitals, in isolation center, quarantined. Where they've been quarantined, we want to see them being healed. Some have been asking, give us a chance to go there. Well, I don't know if the government has held anybody down from going to pray. You don't need to go into where these people are. It's very easy. 
stretch forth the hand according to the leading of the spirit. So people are saying that they want to do the healing. A pastor once said it, let the government give us this and that. And recently they said a pastor died trying to pray for coronavirus patient. Now there are a lot of things there that I don't know. So I'm not going to expatiate on that part. So we were supposed to be saved as Africans because these prophets and pastors have they are flooded all over the continent, according to this person. The government should have facilities to test a, whether a person who claims to be a prophet, evangelist, apostle, pastor, is really a prophet. And you can do this at this time. Let us test who has the healing or who God has sent indeed. He went on to say, because people are being robbed under their watch. Something has to be done by the government for the financial safety of the people. There must be a system to test the so-called man of God, women of God, not to undermine Christianity or our faith, but to make sure that no thief takes advantage of the gullible, of the poor. This is deep. This is deep. This is deep. Well, the Bible itself says that there are ships, Wolves, sorry, in sheep's clothing. Well, maybe God has not given them the power to do this at the moment. I will know. But I think it is good. It is good for healing to come into place. And of course, science is also there to do something. So I don't know what you guys think about this person's personal opinion. Do you share? You know, many of them are saying, I prophesy um, the coronavirus will vanish on the 12th of May. But people are dying. Some say the virus has ended somewhere, but it is reported that the virus is still in China. China is even covering up. Maybe it is the wish of the prophet to get the virus away. I wouldn't know. But he said God told him the virus is going to live at a specific time. But the virus is infecting people every day. The person has gone on the mountain. You know that person is Prophet T.B. Joshua. And um, he has gone on the mountain. He, he took a video of it. I brought you guys that story. And he said... God will heal them of the virus and all of this. Yes, people might call in to say, yes, I receive. I receive the healing, which is very important. There is no disease that is much powerful than God. Or is this virus released or allowed by God? Not because God wants to kill people. Probably to let humans see things differently. And I will say again, this is not the first time we'll have a pandemic that killed, in fact, this one has not even... I'm talking about the amount of people that have died in Nigeria. Talk about the Spanish flu and some other flu. They've killed more people in Nigeria than what is happening right now. God has the ability to heal. And science also has been given to man by the same God to help to take people out of this present predicament. So I want you guys to you know, deliberate on this. What do you think this coronavirus has caused? Has it opened up a lot of things? Have you seen, are you beginning to see things more differently? Drop this at the comment section below.